Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the difference between K factor and free area when you're calculating CFM. All right, so we did this video last week calculating the CFM using an anemometer. So an anemometer is used to measure the velocity of the air. So in this case, feet per minute. Now, important to note, you would typically traverse this opening and you would take various measurements around and then use the average velocity you would read with the anemometer. For simplicity, I'm putting it in the middle here, so I don't have to hold it and move it around all the time, but it, the middle represents very close to the average velocity of this particular grill. And we're just showing you how to get an estimate here. This is not a certified test and balance or anything like that. We're just trying to get an idea of how to calculate CFM on the go. All right, so here's where free area comes into play. When you're using an anemometer, it's helpful to know the free area, of whatever you're measuring, and here's what that means. The area of the opening, the width on the height, is nine and a half by seven inches. So in this case, this opening is nine and a half by seven inches. But what do you notice about the opening? Well, it's not all open. There's these little slats here, right? This grill. So I don't know the exact free area here. I'm going to say it's about 70%. Looks about right. I don't know. Maybe it's a little higher than that, a little less than that. If you take last week's area and apply the 0.7, you could see the free area is about 47 inches squared. We convert that to feet squared. So it's about 0.32 feet squared. And then we calculate our CFM by multiplying the velocity, which the average is about 170 feet per minute, times the feet squared. So you would get 54.4 CFM. So last week I did not use the conversion factor, the free area, because I was trying to keep it simple. But a lot of people noted that correctly. I should use that. So this is the true CFM using the free area. All right, so let's talk K factor. So K factor is something completely different. K factor is what you use when you're measuring velocity pressure. The number is typically provided by your grill manufacturer, and you apply it like this. So your CFM equals your K factor, which is given to you times the velocity pressure. So when you're measuring velocity pressure on something like this, it's basically a shortcut so you don't have to calculate density, velocity, and area separately. By giving the K factor, you'll know at a specific velocity pressure what the CFM is. So that's the difference between K factor and free area. If I missed something, please comment. Or if you have anything to add, we'd love to hear from you.